Hey friends! This week we are going to be talking about a special kind of word. It's called a compound word. And a compound word is one word that is made of two smaller words. Like the word lipstick is a compound word. Lipstick is made up of lip and stick. So lip plus stick together equals lipstick. All right. Another example of a compound word would be when you add the word mail with the word box. Mail and box together makes the word mailbox. Also, the word fish and the word bowl together makes the word fishbowl. We're going to practice this with some little puzzles that I have. <clears throat> And these puzzles are kind of cool because they have two words on a card, each on their own card. But when you put the cards together, it makes a compound word. Just like when you put the two smaller words together, it makes a compound word. You also can tell by looking at the cards together what the compound word is. Because see right here, there's a picture of a horseshoe. If you put horse and shoe together, you make the word horseshoe, you also make the picture of a horseshoe. You see that? One other thing I'd like for you to notice about these cards is the words on the cards, okay? The word horse is the first word in the compound word. I know that because, see how there's a little white space over here? There's not a white space over here. That is because when you put it next to the word, or next to the other card, the card, the word that, ha the word that is the last or the second word in a compound word is going to be on this. See, there's no white space here, but there's a big white space here. That's because when you put the two words together where they do not have a white spa spot, that's because the words are together and they make the word horseshoe. If that makes sense. Horse and shoe together, horseshoe. It wouldn't be like this because, see, there's a big old white space there. The words aren't together. Remember the rule when you have a compound word is two words put together to make a bigger word. Okay? They have to be able to be put together. If the cards are put like this, you can't put the words together. They don't go together. See that? All right, let's try two words. We have key and board. See that? Key and board together make the compound word keyboard. See? Keyboard. And there's a picture of a keyboard. We know it's not going to be board key because, look, there's a big, huge space there. And... The picture's not together. Has to be this way. Keyboard. Keyboard. And there's a picture of a keyboard. All right. Now let's try... Hmm. Oh, I can't fix this up. Sorry. We have the word shade and the word lamp. Now those together are going to make a compound word. Mm, that doesn't work, does it? There's a big space there. So it can't be shade lamp. Let's try it the other way. Oh, good. Look, there's no, there's no space in the middle there. It's put together right. What's the word? Lampshade. The word is lampshade, and the picture is of a, look, of a lampshade. Good job. Okay, two more words together. We have ship. We have space. Put them together, it's ship space. Oh, no, no, look at that big space. Besides that, if it's ship space, that's not a word I know. But if I switched around like this, it makes spaceship. I know what a spaceship is right there. Good job. All right. Now I'm going to make this, try to make this a little harder for you. We have... Let's see. 
Oh, I lost it. Here we go. <laughs> we have the words work. I'm sorry, works. We have earth. We have fire. We have quake. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to look and see what words I think are going to be first. Um, I think earth is going to be a first word because see how there's all this blank space over here and there's none over here. So that, that would be my guess. Um, I think quake is going to be a second word. I think, let's see. Oh, fire. Look, there's a bunch of space right here. So I think that's going to be a first word. And then works. Yeah, see how there's all this space here? I think that is going to be a second word. Okay, so let's try this. Let's, we have the first words and the second words. Now we have to figure out which goes with which one, okay? So maybe earth works, earth works. You know what? Before I even put that together to see if the picture matches, I can think earth works. That's not really a word that I know, is it? So I don't think that matches, but I'm going to try it anyway and see if the picture matches. Yeah, see, it doesn't match. Earthworks, it doesn't match. It's not a real word. Okay, we'll try then. We'll try this one with earth. This one was quake, remember? Earthquake. Oh, does that sound like a word you know? Earthquake? Yeah, we put earth with quake, put it together, makes earthquake. Yes, and look, there's a picture of, uh, it looks like the house. See those motion lines, those movement lines around the house? That means that house is moving. That's because the ground is moving or quaking. A quake is when something moves, shakes. So earthquake would be when a house shakes because the ground shakes. So yes, earthquake. That means we have earthquake. That means that this, these two should go together. Let's check it anyway. Fire works. Fire plus works makes the word Fireworks. Does that make sound like a word you know? Yeah, fireworks. Good. And the picture match? Yes. Yes. So we have earthquake and we have fireworks. Good job. Okay. Now, I can't pick that up. All right. I'm going to try one more set of two different compound words with you. And I think they're going to be kind of tricky because we have hook. We have gold, and we have fish, and we have fish. Oh, there's two fish words, two cards that have the word fish in them. So it's not fish, fish. See, there's that big space plus. I don't know of a word that's fish, fish. We could put it like this, couldn't we? Because those two words would go together, but it doesn't make any sense, so they don't really go together. I don't know a word fish fish, right? So we've got to figure out the fish cards go with these some way, okay? We have gold and we have hook that go with fish either at the beginning or fish at the end. Hmm, all right, well, oh, look, you know what? I had forgotten we can look at the card. Look, there's all this blank space, so that tells me that this one is a beginning word, right? Hmm, okay, so that goes first. Um, Let's see, fish, fish, nah, we know it's not fish, fish. Would it be fish gold? Fish gold, no. No, because then look, there's the big space. We know that this one right here is also a first word, so we'll put that up there for later. Fish, what about this one? Hook, fish, oh, fish hook. <gasps> I know that word, fish hook, look. Yes, okay, I know the word and look, it made the picture. This fish hook, this is a fish hook. You use it to catch a fish. Okay. That means that this one should go together, right? Gold and fish. Gold fi goldfish. Do you know goldfish? I know that word. Goldfish. Look, it's a goldfish right there. How about that? You see, compound words are not that tricky. If you use your brain, that's the tricky part. Sometimes we want to get lazy and not think about things, but... If you use your brain and you really think about stuff, it won't be that hard. That's what you're going to practice this week. And today you have an assignment in Seesaw that you're going to practice these words. Not these words, compound words. All right? So 
Have fun with that.